Hey Cancer, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are you? How's everybody doing? I'm really, really excited to do this reading for you. It's the beginning of a brand new cycle um, for everybody, right? The beginning of a new decade, all the planetary stuff going on. I'm not an astrologer, but uh, I can parrot some information <laughs> that I have read um, myself, but I'm not going to do that. Y'all can check that out yourself. But there's a lot going on in the planets. There's a lot going on um, energetically all over the place. So, Cancer, this is a general reading for the collective of Cancer. You may see yourself anywhere in this reading, and if you do, and you find that you need some confirmation, clarity, wisdom, guidance, understanding, um, please reach out and have your cards read. The only way to know your own personal journey is to have your cards read by myself or or your favorite tarot card reader. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a link in the box below. If you'd like to learn to read the tarot, there's a link in the box below for that as well. All right, Cancer, let's get into this, okay? Let's get into this. I have the camera running up there so you guys can see the cards. I've already laid out the root spread, okay? I've already shuffled and laid out the root spread, and we're going to go through, we're going to clarify, and we're going to tell a story, okay? We're going to tell a story about what's happening with the collective of cancer right now, this very minute, today, whenever you watch this video. That's when this video is for you. And putting it out in February doesn't mean that this has to happen in February. This may have already happened for you. It may be in the, you may be in the middle of it. Maybe it hasn't started for you yet. So let's see what's going on, okay? In the center of your reading is the hermit, okay? This whole entire reading revolves around you doing some introspection and some serious soul searching, okay? So what is this about? Well, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse right here. This King of Pentacles in reverse is about someone who used to hold position in somebody else's life, but they no longer do. I know that because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is down here as well. This is, this is relationship material that has gone bad some kind of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It can be any kind of relationship in your life. All right. So the King of Pentacles in reverse. I do believe this is who you used to be. You used to hold title in somebody's life, but you don't anymore. With strength in reverse that follows it, this is spirit saying that, that you need to draw on some inner strength to work your way through this situation. Yeah, look, the Three of Swords. There was some heartbreak, some pain, some sorrow, some grief, and you're still wrapped up in it in your mind. The Prince of Wands. This is wanting to take some inspired action to the Two of Wands, looking into the future at a crossroads. What path do you take to the Two of Swords? More crossroads, right? So the Prince of Wands tells me that you'd like to take some inspired action, but you just you're just not sure um, what path you're going to take. Princess of Swords in reverse. This is all talk, no action undelivered promises. This is also no communication happening to the chariot in reverse, which is the opposition. See, this chariot in reverse is what is, is, is your crossroads right here, right? You're at a crossroads. You're at the precipice of taking a step either on one path or the other. But there's confusion. There's a lack of clarity. You don't really know. You don't have enough information to make this decision. All talk, no action, undelivered promises to the chariot in reverse being opposition, right? Which tells me that this heartbreak comes from some kind of relationship in your life where it didn't work out the way that you had anticipated it to work out, okay? Chariot in reverse, no forward movement, opposition to any kind of forward movement. But it's clarified by justice, right? Justice comes in and says, you're going to do something about this situation. Cancer, you are. You are going to do something about this situation. You are going to resolve this situation one way or another. But the Prince of Cups down here in reverse, this tells me that you are insecure about sharing your emotions with someone. Insecure about approaching whomever it is that's on your mind up here that you want to bring justice 
into the situation um, about. Tell me a little bit more about justice, Spirit. What is the justice that Cancer wants to implement here? What is the justice? Yeah, look, to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, of course, right? Justice to some kind of major loss associated with the Three of Swords heartbreak. The Prince of Cups in reverse, like I said, uh, look at here, look at here. So the Prince of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Swords, right? You are unsure about how to speak your truth in this situation because there's a lack of clarity. There is a lack of clarity and you're not sure what to do. The Five of Pentacles in reverse in a state of spiritual poverty to the Page of Swords in reverse again. The Princess of Swords, same card right here, right? Different deck, same card. Page of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. Two-fold card right here. This says that there is no communication happening between the two of you. And this says that there is um, the root of the heartbreak is that there is no communication happening, right? That's the crossroads. You don't know what to do because you don't have enough information to do something. Ace of Wands in reverse. This is um, heavy, weighed down. Um, it's also about a lack of motivation, right? So maybe you think the other party has a lack of motivation to fix things between you because there is no communication to the Six of Cups, right? Wanting to reunite and reconcile, at least reconcile, right? At least reconcile your differences. This is why you're in the Hermit energy. You're doing some soul searching and some introspection to the High Priestess in reverse. Tell me about this High Priestess in reverse right here. Whoa. High Priestess in reverse is the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? This is mental, mental challenges could be about breaking free from those mental challenges. Let's get a little bit more. Give me one more, please, about the High Priestess. One more about the High Priestess in reverse, please. The Seven of Pentacles. This is um, limited success or reward. Yeah, so the Seven of Swords is going to be about um, having mental challenges in regards to this situation because there's been limited success or reward and uh, you're not sure if I, I see marriage with this King of Pentacles right here at least a really serious relationship the High Priestess in reverse is talking about um, this is your secret right this is what's down inside of you this is um this is denying your intuition, right? So your intuition is tr telling you to reunite, reconcile your differences. But Cancer's in the Hermit energy doing some soul searching and some serious introspection because they're not allowing their feelings and their intuition to, to dictate the path that they're going to take. They are having a hard time. You're having a hard time releasing the mental challenges associated with whatever happened between the two of you. Your secret is that you have experienced limited success or reward in the past with this situation, and you're not really sure if you want to move into it in the energy of the King of Pentacles, right? You're not really sure you want to reassume your position of, um, of holding significance in this person's life. The devil in reverse. This is about releasing limiting beliefs. And that's what you're processing in the hermit energy, right? It's exactly what you're processing in the hermit energy. You're trying to release your limiting beliefs. And look at that. The high priestess upright. So in this hermit energy, you are, like I've said, doing some soul searching. You're disconnected from your intuition. You're not following what you want to do. See, what you want to do is reach out and rectify the situation. But you're not because you're not sure how the other person or the other parties feel about the situation, right? So you're, 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 you're churning it over on the inside and you go from being disconnected with the high priestess in reverse from your intuition and working through this secret that you have, this secret being, I'm not sure I really want to do this anymore. 
I'm just not sure. I really want to do this anymore. But as you process this, right, as you process this, you begin to release limiting beliefs and come into the high priestess in the upright, which is following your intuition. To the three of wands, preparation, foresight, expansion. In this high priestess hermit energy, you are uh, rolling around in your mind how it is that you would go forward with this if you did to the lovers in reverse. This lovers in reverse is about a misalignment of values and the breakup of a significant relationship. That's what we've been talking about this whole spread, right? A breakup of a significant relationship. Three of Wands, trying to have some foresight as to how it would be if you reunited with this person. The Hangman. Let me move all these up for you. The hangman down here, this is cancer in their mind on the, on, the, on the out of the hermit and the high priestess energy, on the tail end of it, um, making a decision, right? Making a decision to the world card. This is cycle closure, closing out one cycle and beginning a new cycle. That's the decision that you made in the hermit and the high priestess energy. You've released some of your limiting beliefs, and now you're preparing how you're going to come out of conflict in this broken relationship. In the hangman energy, you're pausing, you're processing, you are coming out on the other side with a new perspective about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, right? This Queen of Pentacles in reverse is the counterpart to the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? You guys used to be together, but you're not anymore. The King of Wands in reverse. This is about high expectations, arrogant, ruthless, more hermit energy to self-closure with temperance in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse, talking about fantasy, choices, options, to the Nine of Swords in your mind, still in your mind, Cancer, about this. You know, when Cancer gets their feelings hurt, it's really, really hard for you guys to um, put those feelings back on the table again. It is. When you get your feelings hurt, you just withdraw back into that little crab shell and um, you don't let anybody in and you hermit and you high priestess and you hangman to death. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this, this bottom row is talking about right here. What is this? What is the King of Wands in reverse right here? Whoa. Whoa. Dropped some cards. Okay. Okay. So the King of Wands in reverse is... Okay. So ruthless, right? This, this King of Wands in reverse is representing the ruthlessness that you feel from the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Whoever this is that used to hold title in your life, you are feeling like their actions were ruthless and they didn't take your feelings into consideration or the potential of the relationship. They didn't take it into consideration. Eight of Swords, right? You're trying to wrap your mind around this, trying to figure out what kind of movement needs to, be, needs to happen to change how you, how you think about this situation. King of Swords in reverse. You're angry, right? You feel like this person misused their power in the relationship. The power being that they're supposed to carry your feelings carefully, right? And they didn't. And they didn't. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, look, prioritize, right? They didn't prioritize your feelings. They didn't prioritize um, how you would think or feel about whatever happened here. To the fool in reverse. This is Cancer saying, am I foolish? Am I naive? Am I going to get my heart broken again in this situation? I'm dropping cards everywhere, you guys. Hold on. Dropping cards everywhere. Okay. So, the fool... And then I have the Knight of Wands in reverse because you're questioning if you'll, you would be foolish or not to re-engage to the Five of Swords in reverse. This is a lot of resentment. So you're holding on to some, some, some hurt feelings here real hard, real hard holding on to some hurt feelings. 
Seven of Cups in reverse, talking to us about diversionary tactics, okay? Look to the Four of Cups in reverse. This is um, apathy. This is stubbornness. This is uh, a missed opportunity to the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups in reverse. Again, missed opportunity. <sighs> Success and achievement. Is this Queen... Let's see. Let me see. Spirit, tell me, please, about this Queen of Wands. What does this mean right here? What does this mean? Manifesting. Okay, you know, I think this Queen of Wands here for you, Cancer, is talking about... See, the Queen of Wands is... An energy that will stand by your side and help you achieve. That's what the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands does. That's what usually that's what a partnership is. You know, what who whatever it is. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, they have each other's back, right? And the Queen of Wands is on top of the four of, pen, uh, four of Cups in reverse, covered by the Magician. This is telling me, Cancer, that part of your hurt in this situation is that you expected this person or this situation or these people that we're talking about, you expected them to have your back. You expected them to stand by your side and work through anything that happens between the two of you. And they didn't with the King of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse, right? They didn't do that. And I think that is what is the biggest hurt for you. The biggest heartbreak in this situation is that you guys had had a thing. I mean, you're the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, right? You had something solid going on in this situation. And then whatever. See, we're going to do an extended reading on this Queen of Pentacles right here. And we're going to jump into her real energy and see what she wants, what she thinks. So after this, this reading here, click on the extended um, in the box below and, and you can't, it's a, it's $2. It's a $2 extended reading, right? I mean, what do you got to lose? But we're going to dive into this Queen of Pentacles right here. Okay. So anyway, that's part of the biggest hurt that you have here is that they, they, I feel like they abandoned you somehow, somehow, some way they made a decision that was not in your best interest. And as I say that the tower comes out to cover the nine of swords. Okay. So we have the queen of wands, right? This is, this is to the four of cups in reverse, a lost opportunity, a missed opportunity. Um, they did not have your back somehow, some way, and it hurt your feelings in a bad way. To the magician, right? You are manifesting yourself out of this situation. To the seven of cups in reverse, again, diversionary tactics, right? You are not addressing this. You are not making any movement or action towards reuniting or reconciling in this situation at this point in the reading. Um, cancer's like, no, you hurt my feelings. You didn't have my back. You did not stand by my side. And I'm just, I, I can't, I can't trust you again. The nine of swords, right? This is intense anxiety and despair, intense anxiety and despair. This person put you not only in the hermit energy, not only in the high priestess twice and the hangman, but now you're in the nine of swords, Cancer, to the tower, right? This tower moment of whatever this person did that made you feel abandoned or disregarded some way, somehow, um, was huge for you. It was, it was like literal tower. It was upheaval and chaos. And because of this tower, now we have the eight of wands in reverse. Because of this tower, now you are holding off, communicating or taking any action at all with this person. 
the nine of wands, right? Worn out. You're like, I don't want to go through this again. I don't want to be persistent. I don't want to be resilient. And the Empress in reverse on top of it. An absolute creative block on an epic level, on a major arcana level. An absolute epic blocking of creation with this person. The Princess of Wands. So an epic blocking of creation when it comes to any kind of exploration and discovery, right? Hold on. Any kind of enthusiasm, excitement. Tell me about this Princess of Wands right here, please. Whoa. Tell me about this Princess of Wands. Yeah, the Ace of Swords, right? You've come to some truth. You have come to um, mental clarity to the six of pentacles about giving and receiving and this person's loyalty to you. And I think that's what we're talking about here is loyalty. Um, I think that's what it is. Yeah, look, 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 look to the Ten of Cups in reverse, right? When it comes to giving and receiving, there's a huge misalignment of values. You guys are not on the same page and this person cannot, cannot carry you the way that you need to be carried, okay? Um, <laughs> the, what comes to mind is the baby, right? When my kids were little, my my daughter loved to be turned outwards, right? Outwards. I'd hold her like this by her waist, and she would look out, and we'd walk around, and she'd see everything. My son, complete opposite. He hated that. He wanted to be right here on my hip, latched onto me all the time. And, and, and I don't know why that came about, but as far as carrying you, right, they can't provide you the emotional security that you need to feel confident and satisfied in this relationship. That's the decision that you're coming to, right? To the nine of wands again, right? I don't want to be worn out. I don't want to be, I don't want to have to be persistent. I'm a little bit hesitant. I don't want to have to, to, to think that this is all going to happen again the next time something comes up and this person doesn't have my back. I'm not willing to chance it again, is what you're saying with this Nine of Wands. Seven of Swords, again in reverse, having a hard time breaking free of the mental challenges about deception or betrayal or, or what you perceive to be, what you perceive to be deception or betrayal, right? You're having a hard time releasing that to the sun. All you want is happiness, success, and vitality, and you don't see that you can find it in this relationship. To the wheel. This wheel is about a turning point, right? It's about closure, cycle closure, and moving on away from this relationship. What's going on here? Can you give me one for the wheel? One for the wheel. Yeah, look, the Knight of Pentacles, right? When it comes to moving into your future, assessing the landscape of your life, this is a dynamic that you do not want um, in your future. And uh, that's what these cards say about this particular relationship for this particular collective that I'm connecting with. And um, let's uh, summarize it in a nutshell, right? There was something happened between you and a significant relationship in your life. It broke your heart. You felt like they didn't have your back and um, you have tried, you've struggled and struggled and struggled to come to terms with what happened between the two of you, but you don't feel like you can trust this person with your feelings again, and you are headed out down the road. And that's your, that's your reading, Cancer. So stand by. We are going to uh, pull these cards together. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it while I'm talking. We are going to pull these cards together and we are going to do an extended reading for the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, it's a $2 reading, right? I'm not here to get rich off of YouTube. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I, I, I just, I'm not. This is not my main gig. My main gig is personal readings. I do personal readings all day, every day. That's what I do. And YouTube is just my little side thing because I like it. All right, you guys, we're going to move over to the extended reading. If you uh, would like to join me, please do. Namaste.